What's going on out there, YouTube fam? This is Sammy Lager here representing Team Devious. I'm back here again for another Euphoria Season 2, Episode 2 review. This is our non-spoiler review. Uh, we will be going into great details, all the spoilers, all the tea, tonight, which is Sunday night, um, at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for our after-show discussion on Euphoria. Hopefully you guys do check that out. I think you're going to... You're going to really enjoy it. But let's go ahead and get down to what's going down. So the last episode, it was insane. I mean, you know, for Cass being stuck in the bathroom and being in that situation with Nate, for Nate almost, I mean, we don't know. We don't know what happened to Nate after the fact, but we just know that he got beat to a pulp by Fez. Per what happened with Fez from last season, Fez got set up by Nate per everything that happened. So what did I think about this? episode this episode is even crazier because the implications behind it are, are dire like everybody is in a really bad place i mean it's, it's crazy because in less than 12 hours before you know uh jules and rue you know literally just rekindled for good or bad like they rekindled and off rip the very first when you see them like they're brought with a lot of baggage because of certain things and stipulations that Rue was dealing with. That episode, that special episode between Ali and Rue really shines a light on where things could potentially go with Rue because Rue makes some really questionable choices in this episode and all of it is centered around the thing that is her Achilles heel. Matter of fact, she makes a really interesting comment where somebody asked her a question is, what's, what's more powerful, what's the most powerful emotion? Is it love? And unfortunately, she said, no, it's loss. And that lays a foundation of where her character is actually going to go. So um, I thought that, that arc of the story is really interesting. But the thing about it is the thing that's going on with Jules. I don't know where that's going to go. <laughs> um, I'm very slightly worried. But then Cassie is even different situation because she's very much so in love with, you know, this man or... I don't know if she's in love or infatuated or in lust, but for good or bad, because of what happened, you know, she's immediately rushing to try to see what's going on with Nate and see if he's going to make it through. But I'm going to tell you this about Nate, and I'm not spoiling anything. We're going to go into it tonight, but Nate is as close to a high school Lex Luthor type as you can imagine. And if you think that that situation that happened, whether he lived or died, was going to humble him, you ain't seen anything yet and that's all i can really say without spoiling it because nate and the things that are going on is just insane with him but the imagery though like the the visuals the cues like the transition between what was going on when jules and rue first met from everything that nate is dealing with mentally and emotionally what, what happened his circumstance but even deeper than that like characters like lexi and what she is dealing with her reality of how she's always been really passive but what does that mean when she wants to be with somebody what does it mean when she wants to connect with with fez what does that mean and also what are the ramifications of what fez did all that in a in a bow is in this episode now <laughs> is it is it is it worth to say that things are not looking good i can definitely say things are not looking good um maddie in this episode you find some different things about her you know what her job is um what what she's doing and what potentially can put her down an interesting path as well i think that's really interesting they introduce a new character in this one who was brought up in the first episode i'm not sure if this character is going to be a season regular but he is definitely connected to rue in a very interesting way Ali does make his debut in this episode and uh, Coleman Domingo is a freaking beast and the way that he handles everything in this episode was golden. I loved it. But the ending of this episode is the thing that people are going to be like, yo, that's why I did this tag right. And that's, you'll see. We'll go into all the specifics tonight in our uh, spoiler discussion after show. I'd rest this episode at a 9 out of 10. Uh, I definitely, it, it leaves me intrigued to see what's going to happen next for good or bad. There are certain characters I don't like their character motivations. I don't like how certain things are getting set up in a very cookie cutter way necessarily. But then a show like this, anything can happen. That's what makes this very exciting. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this non spoil review. And please come back tonight at 9 o'clock. Peace, people. Violent
the top 